Hey everyone and welcome to a new video and today we are looking at um, some pre-Black Friday deals that are happening at Best Buy. Best Buy is pretty much kicking it off and uh, they started some sales for some cool stuff already and I wanted to go over some stuff with you guys that I think are some good deals and in some you'll have to judge for yourself. So let's get into it here. Alright, so first game here, Far Cry 6. Um, I, I, Far Cry 6, awesome game, right? But I never really felt it was next generation, so that's why I'm showing the PS4 version here. Uh, it's dropped 20 bucks. Um, really up to you if you want to pick this game up. I would prefer the PS4 version because you know it has that PS5 upgrade, so you can play on both systems. But there's that deal there. Um, man, the cover looks insane. All right, let's go to the next game. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Part 2. Um, I'm, I figured most people would have this already, but um, if you don't, uh, 20 bucks is definitely a great deal for this game. Uh, I haven't beat this one yet. It is a massive game, especially if you play online. But uh, 20 bucks, well worth it. Ratchet and Clank. Um, wow. So PS5 game. I think this is originally going for like 70 bucks. Um, and yeah, ooh, gosh, look at that. And it's only dropped 20 bucks. I wouldn't necessarily call this a, a deal. You know, maybe that's more of a fair price now. But um, yeah, 50 bucks. Nah, I would pass on it. But the game is awesome. Jason's told me all about it. It's a fantastic game. Here is Far Cry. Well, not Far Cry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I wanted to pick this game up. Best Buy had it on sale for $10 at one point. But when I tried to buy it online, it wouldn't let me uh, check out, which was annoying. And I was told by the clerk online that, hey, you can go to the store and pick it up for the same price tomorrow. And that didn't happen. Best Buy customer service online is, is, is pretty bad. But anyways, 20 bucks. Um, they patched this game up uh, nicely, I think. Uh, it's, it's probably worth playing now. So uh, if you're into this type of game, um, hey, check it out. Ah, Resident Evil 8. I, I call it Resident Evil 8. I know everybody calls it Resident Evil Village. I just call it 8. Um, I've been waiting to pick this one up. Uh, I thought $20 was an excellent deal uh, and also like I said the PS4 game uh, you have that PS5 upgrade um, This game is I, I wanted to, I waited to get this game because I was working on the Resident Evil video and um, Now that the game dropped to 20 bucks I, I, I scooped it up and not only that it came with a, a steel book as well at Best Buy So these aren't sold out yet uh, Hopefully they won't be so everybody can get their hands on it, but uh, definitely I think it's, it's worth the 20 bucks Next tier, we have Back for Blood. Man, I kind of wish I waited on this game because I just picked it up about a month ago. Now it's $20 off. But still, uh, it was worth the purchase. This game is actually pretty fun. It's hard. Uh, it's very difficult. They spawn a special, a special effect is like crazy on certain levels. I don't know if there's a balance thing going on with this game. But still, if you're a fan of games, old school games, I would say now, uh, like uh, Left 4 Dead, um, this is definitely uh, one you want to pick up. Um, I mean, it's up to you if you want to pick it up for 40 bucks, but still, you know, um, yeah, I, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Demon Souls. Whew. One of the hardest games to e ever exist, I hear, at least in, in the modern times. Um, I'm not messing with this game at all, but uh, for those of you who've been wanting to try it out, if you got a PS5, there you go. I heard they were making this for PS4 because uh, the PS5s weren't really widely available, but um, yeah. All right, so next here we have Sonic Colors Ultimate. <laughs> so I don't know about the Switch version. Uh, this this is going for twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars if you get it at Best Buy. But the Xbox and the PS four versions are going for twenty. So just keep that in mind. I heard the Switch version had some problems, but um, I can't believe it, it had problems. That game was ported from the Wii or more remastered, I guess. I don't know. But either way, if you like this game, uh, you might want to pick it up on no system instead of the Switch. But if you want it on the go, uh, pick up the Switch copy. Cruising Blast. I was surprised this one dropped in price. Um, I just missed the mark, you know, <laughs> of getting this uh, up at this price. But uh, still uh, a really awesome game. Uh, more people need to know about this one. If you, if you remember the Cruising USA games from back in the day in the arcades, this game like brings that action back to us, you know. It's, it's been a while since we've seen games like those again, and um, hopefully we'll see more in the future. But for twenty-five dollars, definitely a great deal. Uh, twenty bucks for The Last of Us Two, man. Oh man, I, I just this game looks great, 
but man, I just don't want to be depressed after playing something, man. And this game is depressing as hell from what I've seen. I may play it when it becomes like available on the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Plus. But yeah, 20 bucks still too much. Uh, maybe $10, but yeah, I'll pass on this one. But you guys, let me know if you're going to pick this one up. Mass Effect. All right, next up we have Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, this is the complete uh, trilogy of the first three Mass Effect games, of course. And then this one, man, all the DLC is added to the game, uh, just how I always dreamed it would be one day. Just haven't picked this up because even for $27, man, I just feel like since I bought the, uh, the original games, man, I just want, I just want it for 20 bucks, you know? But maybe we'll see some more Black Friday deals. Um, I'm pretty sure we will. I'm pretty sure this game will be 20 bucks somewhere. But as of right now, it's $27.99 um, at Best Buy if you want to pick it up now. And next up, we have 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Jeez, this game was freaking fantastic. Uh, if, you want, if you're want, if you into like a cool turn-based RPG with a lot of good story, um, definitely uh, pick this one up. This one was a lot of fun. I, I, I guess, I don't know, it is turn-based and it's more tactical as well, but the story segments in this game, like really, man, they look like something out of a cool storybook. It's really amazing what they did with this game. I actually got my platinum trophy on this game. Um, if you if you want a good experience, definitely pick this one up. And then we have Tales of Arise. Um, it's dropped twenty bucks. Man, Tales of Arise is a really good game. I haven't beat it yet. I'm about I want to say maybe like twenty five percent into the game. Uh, I stopped playing it. I need to get back into it again. But if you want to you want to get get it for a cheaper price than sixty, uh, here it is. I don't know if this game will drop anymore. I would think think it will probably drop to thirty, uh, possibly during the whole Black Friday uh, like weekends. But we'll see how that goes. Ah, all right, Yakuza like a dragon. Never played this game, but I hear a lot of good things about it. Twenty bucks uh, is definitely worth the risk on this type of game because Sega, Sega, I love Sega. They they have a lot of creative ideas for their games, and the Yakuza series just really took off. I I, I feel like Yakuza is the reason why nobody really. Like, like I may, I mean, maybe throwing this out there, but nobody really cares about Shinmu anymore. You know, like this, like Yakuza is the new Shinmu. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. All right, so we have Dragon Quest uh, 11. Uh, this is the uh, def definitive edition. Man, this is a really good game. Um, there's there's so much to say about this game. Uh, the Dragon Quest games always have really good music, um, gameplay, story, just. This game will blow you away. Definitely worth $15. Crisis Trilogy. Uh, three first-person games with a lot of action. Great story. Definitely worth $30. Bucks. Just remember, though, if you own the originals, um, this one might be worth picking up if you're, if you're ready to play it immediately. If you want to buy it now and just kind of put it on the shelf, I don't know. I would just wait until it became, like, maybe $15, $20. Bucks. But still, $30 is a great deal. Next up, we have a uh, Game of the Year edition of Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. I definitely think this uh, version is the one worth getting. I know the PS5 version changed some things. They changed how the main character looked, and I didn't really like that too much. They wanted to make him more look like the how he looked in the movie. But I get it. You know, it appeals more to fans. But I think this is the version to get. Uh, this was their original idea before they wanted to change things up. All right, next up, we have Resident Evil 2, the remake. <laughs> $15 is a no-brainer for this game. A great experience playing this game. Um, I, I played the original back in the day, and, you know, of course I would choose the original over this one, but it's not about that. It's about your experience now with this game. Definitely pick this one up for $15 if you haven't played it yet. Control Ultimate Edition. <laughs> I actually bought this on sale last year, and... Um, Man, this game is freaking weird, but it's really intriguing. I really like it a lot, but man, it's just, it's just, that building is all over the place, but um, definitely something that's worth 20 bucks. Then we have Five Nights at Freddy's, the core edition. Uh, this is probably like a, a cool horror game for people who like jump scares and stuff like that. Um, not my real cup of tea, but 20 bucks on the Switch, uh, and you can only imagine what it is on other systems. Let's see, yep. 20 bucks on PS4 and Xbox One. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Yeah, it's about time, but it's too late. A lot of people are uninterested in it, but still, uh, 30 bucks, that's, that's still too much, I'm sorry. 
Gotta make this game 15 bucks. But if you guys think this is a deal, go for it. All right, man. Crash Team Racing. Yes. Uh, this is definitely worth picking up for 20 bucks. Um, is this on the other systems? Yes. PS4 and Xbox One for 20 bucks. Um, I would probably go with those versions over this one, but it's really up to you. All right. This is one I, I, I missed out on last time it went on sale. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, <laughs> fantastic game. It's a remaster of the PS3 and Xbox 360 games. Uh, this is 20 bucks, but also on the, uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One is $15. So I'll probably get the PS4 version. But still, I'm glad this is on sale. I'll probably pick this one up. Sonic Mania and Team Sonic Racing. Team Sonic Racing is not all that good. I mean, Sonic Racing uh, Transform was the, probably the best game in that series. That game was fantastic. But it does come with Sonic Mania. Um, if, you, if you're into those bundle type games, uh, $24.99, a good deal. Hopefully it's not one of those where you have to download the game onto the... Um... No, it's not. It seems like everything's on the on the cart, so that's good. But anyways, uh, definitely uh, probably a good deal. Resident Evil 3. <laughs> man, this remake... Um, I, had a I had a fun time with it, man, but it's just one of those games that shows you when, when Capcom does a really good thing, they always... They, like, they, they do full measures with one game, and the next game they'll do like half measures. This game is definitely half measures, but it is... A good experience for th this price. Uh, I would pick it up if I if you guys haven't played it yet. Little Nightmares Part Two. I beat this game when it came out on the PS4. I had a, a lot of fun playing it. The Switch version. I don't. I haven't really heard too much about it. Uh, I mean, twenty five dollars. I mean, it's up to you guys if you want to pay that. Let's see what the, the PS4 version. We up twenty bucks and the Xbox One. So twenty bucks. Those are the better versions for a cheaper price. But if you want this game on the go. Uh, $25. Then we have Aliens Fireteam Elite. $25 is a steal for this game. A really cool experience. The only thing I didn't like about this game is that it, it's, you know, out of the co-op games, it's only three-player co-op. It should have been four-player co-op, like games like Left 4 Dead or World War Z. But $25, uh, definitely a good deal. This is the PS5 version, so let's see the PS4 version is $24, yep, and the Xbox One version, same price as well. So there you go. Uh, Persona 5, uh, uh, like, Persona 5 Royal. I guess it's like a director's cut of the Persona game, 5 game that came out. Uh, I'm not really sure about it, but $25, I'm, I'm assuming that's a good deal. Uh, but I've kind of fallen off from the Persona games. Unless it's a Persona Arena game, then I, I know about it. But the other ones I just don't really know too much about. But $25 for that one. Then we have Uncharted Collection. Uh, man, 10 bucks for that? That's a no-brainer right there. Hell's Blade, uh, this game, it's kind of crazy because the, the sequel is exclusive on the, on the Microsoft system now, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that Best Buy has the PS4 version. Yeah, they have the PS4 version, but it's 20 bucks. Huh, weird. But anyways, on the Xbox One, uh, 10 bucks for this game, definitely a good deal. Then we have Namco Museum Arcade Pack. Um, I thought this was really cool, a cool arcade pack because it came with Splatterhouse. Uh, 20 bucks, definitely a good deal for that one. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun with this, this, the games that are on here. Final Fantasy X and X2 uh, HD Remastered. I, mi I missed out on getting this uh, last year when it was on sale for 20 bucks. Uh, it's one of those games that if I see it at a store, I might pick it up for the $20 price tag. But um, we'll see how that goes. I, I feel like it should be 15 But maybe it's cheaper on other systems. Let's see what it's going for. So they don't have the Xbox One version here listed, the price listed. But I don't have that version. They're only showing... Oh, that's weird. Only the Xbox One version, not a PS4 version. Did they make it for PS4? I don't know. Uh, I have to look that up. Anyways, a beautiful looking game. If you played it back in the day, uh, might be worth uh, picking it up again. Alright, next we have Ballin Wonderworld. I, I mean, I know I heard about the reviews for this game, and you know, I I don't know, man. I just really don't really go off them. I have to experience it for myself. And for fifteen dollars, I said, why not? I got the Switch version and the PS4 version, which can be upgraded to the PS5, of course. Uh, the game is beautiful. It looks really nice. Um, I've gotten past the first world so far, but we'll see how the rest of the game goes. But anyways, fifteen dollars, I think that's a good deal. Um, here is Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PS4. Actually, 
I would tell people not to get this version. I would say just get the PS5 version if you don't have it yet. Um, this version of the game, as far as I know, doesn't have the DLC that was added to the uh, PS5 version of the game. So, um, yeah, you don't want to kind of like limit yourself. But um, still a solid game. And here is The Last of Us Part 1. Um, yeah, yeah, this one, this game was fantastic. I thought it was a good experience. Uh, and if you haven't played it yet, $10 is a no-brainer for it. Uh, Catherine Full Body. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, if you played the older versions on 360 and PS3, I don't see any reason to really upgrade to this version unless you, you want to date the, the extra woman they added, added to it. I'm not really sure, but there might be some other features that maybe make it worth getting. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe you guys in the comments can let me know about that. But $25, uh, that's a pretty good deal actually. And let's see what the other versions are going for. Oh, they only have the Switch version listed, so let's move on. And next one here, ah yes, World War Z Aftermath. <laughs> oh man, um, I just picked this game up too and it dropped $20 already. That's pretty insane. Uh, but I had to play this game. I love World War Z. It's a great experience. If you have not played this game yet, it's a great co-op four-player shooter that I feel is a must-have. You know, it took what Left 4 Dead did back in the day and just really ran with it. I mean, so much good stuff in this game. It's amazing. And next up, we have Collection of Mana. I actually bought this last Black Friday, which is hilarious. So it's back on sale again, or maybe it's always been on sale. I'm not really sure. But still, um, a lot of people, I guess, maybe they don't really know about this yet. So hopefully this will bring some eyes to it. Uh, this is the first three uh, Mana games, the original one that came out on the Game Boy, which was Final Fantasy Adventure. Then you have Secret of Mana and Trials of Mana, which was never released in America. And next up, we have Chris Tales. Um, this is a turn-based RPG. I, I've seen it. It looks like pretty different from other RPGs. It look, has its own little unique look to it. But um, haven't really played it. But for twenty bucks, it, may, it might be worth taking a risk on. So keep that in mind. And also, um, there is the PS5 version. I think the Switch version as well. But I don't know if they yeah, had the Switch version on sale too. So there you go, twenty bucks. All right. So days gone. Honestly, guys. 20 bucks is cool for this game, but I only think it's worth it if you have a PS5 so you can play the game in its best quality, best frame rate, just everything is better on the PS5 with this game. So if you have a PS5, I pick this one up for 20 bucks. Here is Deathloop for the PS5, a cool exclusive, a game where you die and die again. Lots of fun from what I hear. Um, I, the game got praised by a lot of critics, but I, I don't know if it sold well. So hopefully the price drop is not because it didn't sell well, it's just because of the deals. But still, either way, it's a win-win for you. $30 PS5 exclusive. And last but not least, we have Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, I wanted to play this game when it first came out, but the price tag didn't really justify the game because I knew it was more of a... A DLC add-on if anything else but still uh, for $30 if you can find this game for me I'm looking for the PS4 version yeah but that one sold out unfortunately as of the as of this video hopefully it'll get more back in stock or somebody else will have it on sale but still for $30 um, you have a PS5 I think it's worth for you guys to pick this one up all right everyone so I hope you enjoyed what you saw here you know during this season of the year man things get crazy and you know just make sure it's worth uh, going out if you decide to go out and buy out in the public what you want because Black Friday is stupidly insane so that's why I do my shopping online but if you do go out there just don't get your wig knocked off like that lady did be careful out there anyways guys that's all I got for you Radical Reggie and I will see you all later